Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. In this video, we are going to use the Snowflake mini cover plate to make four very different looking cards. If you missed my video last week using the same mini cover plate, I will link it below in the YouTube description, but we made these four quick cards mass production style. Then we made one with a fun watercolor background, stepped up version, and then we created another one that looks like it has two snowflakes on that cover plate. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you will find that little red subscribe button underneath the video, hit it, hit the bell to turn on notifications, and then you'll know when we upload new videos and go live, and we would be so excited to have you hang out with us. So the Snowflake mini cover plate, I already die cut a bunch of them. I just ran them through my die cutting machine, and it has that snowflake right up in the corner, and then it also has a hand lettered thank you to go with it. So on this card, I'm not gonna use that die. Actually, I don't use it on any of these, but I use uh, the snowflake and the frame. So I grabbed my let it snow winter word die and it has it cuts it out so that the letters are like on a line and I use that little line to adhere to the frame so that it looks like the let it snow is also part of the frame which is really cool and then this was begging me to become a shaker card so I grabbed my 3M mounting tape I double stacked it so that my sequins have plenty of room to move around and then I'm just going to trim it in thirds or fourths to get skinny little strips then I'm going to take those strips I'm going to adhere them all the way around this frame creating a barrier basically I like to kind of call it a fence you're going to keep the the dogs in the yard. <laughs> so the sequins will stay inside the shaker bit because that fret, the adhesive is all the way around. And uh, Tinseltown sequins I thought were perfect for this snowy let it snow card. So I'm just dumping a whole bunch right in the center here on this card layer. Um, this layer is just a little bit bigger than the frame. I lay the frame over my mound of sequins, press it down, make sure that it adheres so that none of those sequins fall out, and then shake, shake, shake. How much do you guys love shaker cards? Let, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're a shaker card lover or if you have yet to get started. And if you haven't started yet, just try one. Once you try one and get the hang of it, you're going to be hooked. I decided that I want, I didn't want a layer behind this little shaker bit. So I just trimmed that down with a pair of scissors just so that you couldn't see the layer behind. Then I added a piece of snowy day patterned paper to my card base and then the frame on top of it. I'll po pop in a little sequin in the middle of that snowflake and that's it for this shaker card. It was pretty quick and easy when you break down the steps. Next up we're going to use this cute little sentiment. It's from the Jolly Thanks stamp set. Santa spoiled me again. It's a great kind of fun non-traditional way of saying thank you. I thought it would be so cute on this with this snowflake frame. So I'm stamping it a couple times with my Misty to make sure I got a nice solid stamped image there. And then I grabbed from the man with the bag stamp set my my little my little Santa hat. I've already colored it in and then I'm just going to add some glitter. So this is glass slipper glitter. Just use a little bit of two-way glue there sprinkle on that glitter, top it off, and it adds some really nice sparkle and shine. I'm adding some Nuvo liquid glue. I'll adhere this frame snowflake onto the card. And then I thought it would be really cute to have a little strip of patterned paper. I've been doing that a lot on my cards lately, just a little strip for some added interest. So I grabbed this gorgeous plaid from our Lumberjack paper pack, and I, it, I think it's poke, you know, the little trim there is maybe about a quarter inch. So I trimmed a quarter inch off of that card layer so that it was still four by five and a quarter. Next up, if you know me, when I get my hands on snowflakes, I also have to get my hands on pink ink and paper. <laughs> I have a special affection for pink snowflake cards especially if they have glitter and sequins. <laughs> so I'm taking my life-changing blending brush, my pink champagne ink, and I'm just ink blending right over this frame and the snowflake. You could ink blend first and then die cut. I like the look that it gives where it's kind of darker around some of the edges when you do it this way. Now, if you wanna alter this snowflake frame like I've done in other videos, you can actually just cut the snowflake off. Just use your scissors and trim it right out. And then you have a, a classic frame. 
our mini cover plates are all sized to be interchangeable and work together. So you can see the outer frame on the sprinkles die and the outer frame on the snowflake are the same. And then, so the inside of the sprinkles mini cover plate will fit inside the snowflake frame, which is really fun. We're gonna set that aside and use it on the next card, but this one I decided just to do a little strip. I use the Feelin' Chili Paper Pack. I'm gonna use the Note of Thanks stamp set. So I already adhered an inch by five and a quarter piece of that pat pattern paper at the bottom there. I'm gonna adhere my frame over the top, and then I felt like this Thanks in this block font was really nice, and I'll just ink that up with Sangria and stamp it. And I could leave it like this for a clean and simple look. I wanted to dress it up a little more. So I grabbed my little cups from our Baby It's Cold Outside stamp set. I, when I was playing with this earlier in the season, I die cut a whole bunch of cups. Some of them I colored, some are just white, some are out of patterned paper. And then I have them on hand, just like I had the Santa hat, so that when I'm playing and working on backgrounds and technique pieces, I can just pull them out and add them to my card. I think they look so adorable on this thanks card. So one last card. This one, I'm gonna use the Wonderful die. So I am coloring it with my Something Borrowed ink pad. I'm grabbing my Something Borrowed embossing glitter. And since our inks stay wet for a short time, um, I just dabbed my, my Wonderful die cut right onto that Something Borrowed ink pad. And then if I'm quick, it's still wet and still tacky, and I can pour that embossing glitter right over the top, it's gonna stick to it. And then I have a gorgeous just vibrant blue, wonderful with this awesome sparkle on it. So I grabbed a hot tub patterned paper piece from our retro winter collection, the Feel and Chili Paper Pack again. I thought that had a nice subtle background on it that would look good with the Sprinkles mini cover plate. When you have something like this with the mini cover plate that's very busy you and you want to put patterned paper behind it, go with a more simple pattern. And then I'm doing the white frame, which was from the Snowflake mini cover plate. I just cut that snowflake out. That adds some nice interest. It's like a inlaid die cutting technique there. And then Nuvo liquid glue on the back of that wonderful, just use a big block or something heavy to kind of weight it down so that it dries flat. Now I need a U. <laughs> so I grabbed this thank you from the Note of Thanks stamp set. I just cut around it, just a little fussy cutting right there, a little bit of liquid glue on there, and I'm gonna stick it right under the wonderful. And I'm not gonna do anything else to this card because I think the gorgeous glitter and that sprinkles behind it, I think that's, that's enough. You could add more if you want. <laughs> so let's take a look. The Let It Snow shaker card, the Santa spoiled me again, the thanks with those cute little cups, and the wonderful you. Which one's your favorite? Leave a comment here on YouTube and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. And when you leave comments and hit the like button and subscribe and also share the video with your friends, lets YouTube know you like our content and it helps us get the word out even more. So thank you. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you again soon.